Hey guys, it's Adam A.K. Swing Bird, and uh, I forgot to change out of my uh, composer outfit, but anyways, welcome back to Animal Crossing New Leaf. Got a few letters here. Oh, it's my stuff that I ordered from the uh, Happy Home Academy Showcase. So anyways, uh, <laughs> how are you guys doing today? I'm gonna go check with Copper and uh, see what's going on. Uh, na ooh, oh sweet. So I have a few special tree uh, tree stumps here because I did get a silver axe, an elegant mushroom. Ooh. From, I got a silver axe from the island and I uh, actually stocked up on a few. I used most of my metals to get that. And uh, hopefully we'll get some sweet mushrooms. Even It's almost fall though, so I, I can get them normally from tree stumps. But the special uh, ones you get from the silver axe uh, do them more often year round. Let's see, this Saturday. Oh, that might be the last bug off. I'll have to uh, stock for that one like I did last time. And uh, hopefully I can get the rest of the animal, or the uh, bug furniture. But let us check with Copper what's going on. So I'm just gonna play it by ear today, I guess. There's a dragonfly. Let me see if I can grab that. Schmack. Oh, he's a little too far away. Um, without the 3D on, it's hard to, to judge depth. There we go. Is Drago home? I wanna go in his house. Oh, somebody just pinged me. It's Brofina. How you doing, girl? Oh, Dumpling, I finally figured out what our town needs to truly succeed, Clucka. A modern clock. You do agree, right? Right? <laughs> Sorry, I'm just uh, making sure my voice is said. So, it's so important to get involved in public issues. Now I'll tell Isabel about it, and you two can make it happen. Wow, thanks for listening, man. I don't know if the modern clock's gonna look that good. Man, Drago's not home. Or is he asleep or something? He is on a snack run. Typical Drago. So anyways, I do want to show the inside of his house eventually, if he'll be home for me to uh, do that. Let's see if there's anyone in the town square. That is definitely a fake rock. Let me smash that. But yeah, we'll play it by the ear today, see what's going on, and uh, some amethyst. And then we'll go head into town and do some of that stuff. So I think I'm on, I can't remember what day. I might be on day like six or seven or something of, of Perfect Town. And once I hopefully achieve Perfect Town for long enough, we should be able to uh, do some stuff. What is... So I heard this calendar actually, like, marks the days accurately, but I don't see it crossed off. It's, like, showing a line through the week. I wonder what that would be. And then, yeah, weird. It's supposed to mark the days accurately, I heard, and, like, will actually change dynamically through the month, but that doesn't seem right. Also, the map is definitely wrong. <laughs> so what's new in town, Copper? Hmm, what am I... Am I okay, speed, I guess. All right. I'm going to take a look around, because there's got to be something going on in town, like, unless it's Pascal, I think he can pop up anytime. It's weird when there aren't, like, guys in the event plaza, it's like, somebody's got to be around. Maybe Gulliver's on the beach? He would have mentioned that, though, wouldn't he? Let's see what Graham's up to today. Hey, Adam, looking good, as always, yep, 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 so what can I do for you? I want to chat, buddy, what's new in town? Well, I feel like this, I feel like just listening to country and dancing all night, yep, yep, yep. You got weird taste, man. There's that the one cicada sounds like he's kissing somebody. And I don't know who he's kissing, but I'm gonna run along the beach here. Anything going on? What's up, buddy? I've been trying to collect the shells. I very rarely get the bananas and coconuts from the trees because I'm like, I don't know if it's worth the effort. Just scared that fish away. Probably a sea bass. Um, <laughs> but I try to get the shells now and just switch them out because I do. Oh, well, there's a sweet butterfly, but it's really far away. Can't go over and get that. But yeah, how's the lighthouse doing? Can't really see it very well from down here. I try to get the uh, shells occasionally, because if I just leave sand dollars all over the beach, then I won't be able to make more music boxes and stuff like that. So here we go. I I think I've... I've oh, Cranston's fishing. So yeah, I, I need to get a new villager here eventually. I'm, I want to get Pietro. I mentioned that before, the creepy clown sheep. But... If I could find a new, an Uchi or normal villager that I like, then I will probably opt for that because we already have, uh, Pietro has the personality of Graham, so. Ooh, uh-oh, we got a camper. Let's see if it's an eligible candidate to replace Nan, non, Nan, however, I still don't know how to say her name. <gasps> oh my god, it's a Robo Frog. <laughs> I forget this guy's name. Oh, Ribot. Okay, <clears throat> let's see. <clears throat> Hey, uh, do you live in this town? <laughs> I don't know. I could be like, hey, uh, do you live in this... I don't like that. Ro like, that doesn't sound unique enough for a robot voice. I'm gonna go... Okay, let me know if this is annoying, guys. I guess if this is recorded a while back, then you can't really, you know... You can let me know, and hopefully I'll, I'll figure, you know... 
I'll have stopped doing it by then if you could hate it, but I'm gonna go with this okay. <laughs> let's, let's, let's try it and see if I don't pass out. The camping is pretty good here, you know? <laughs> I've, I've decided to spend some quality time here. <laughs> I am robot. I am robot. Love me. <laughs> okay, anyway. <laughs> I hope that's an okay robot voice. I'm trying to do an accurate robot voice. It kind of sounds like I'm out of breath. To me, camping is all about training. I spend my time doing sit-ups, not sleeping, duty. <laughs> voice is probably super creepy. I don't know if I'm gonna stick with that the whole time. Uh, I don't. Okay, so I gotta, I gotta figure out what personality this guy is. Oops, I'm miss, missing some of his dialogue. I need to figure out what personality this guy is because I don't know if I wanna double up. Like, if I talk to him enough, I could probably figure it out. Let's see. Talking about pride. Ooh, for me. Uh, let me. Okay, I'm gonna look up what this guy's personality is. Okay, so Ribot is a jock like Genji, and I know I'm already doubled up on Tangy's. Uh, the I'm already doubled up on Preppy, Lazy, and Cranky. So like, I guess I I can't turn down a robot frog. I have to get him, and then maybe if someone else leaves, I'll get somebody else. But. Hope you guys won't begrudge me doubling up on another personality, because I can't... This guy is too cool. <laughs> he also has KK Rider, or Go go KK Rider, on the uh, the little jukebox, or the thing back there. Alright, let's see if he'll move in. Whoa, you'd welcome me to your town? <laughs> Down, just like that. Hmm, but I think I still need more time to think. Alright, let's be good sportsmen and decide this was true. <laughs> I don't know if I can keep this voice up. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, my duel, I just meant a simple nine violin. <laughs> oh my god, this, uh, this is going to be a weird episode, guys. Sorry. <laughs> my duel, I just meant a simple non game. If you win, I'll move to this town. But if I win, you have to give me your amethyst. <laughs> okay, bring it on, buddy. <laughs> Alright, let's play a game of rock, paper, scissors. This is a single round game, okay? If we're tied, we'll do it. <laughs> we'll do a tiebreaker round. Ready? Here we go. One, two. I'm gonna do good old paper. Scissors. Oh no. Alright, that means I win. <laughs> I knew I was going to win. <laughs> he predicted it with his robot <laughs> mind. Well, as we agreed, I'm taking your amethyst with me. <laughs> he doesn't say very many robot-y things for being a robot. <clears throat> Don't worry, I'm not going to gloat. I won't keep it in my house and smirk every time I look at it. Really. <laughs> but this will be a good memory. <laughs> I'll store it in my memory banks. <laughs> I don't know about this. I feel like I'm predicting people are going to be annoyed by this robot voice. <laughs> Maybe I should just do like a, hey, do you, do you want to bet your darner dragonfly? Do you want to play uh, which one is it game with me? You have to guess in, if my coin is in the right hand or in my left hand. He kind of sounds too much like Avery. I'm going to stick with this voice and hopefully people don't hate it. <laughs> and not, and I don't die from hyperventilating. All right. <clears throat> You get a total of three guesses. With each correct guess, you can raise <laughs> the selling price of your item. Uh, I'll do it. All right. <laughs> all right, and you pay up for it. Here comes your person. <laughs> I can't keep this voice up. I don't know. Let's just do. Let's go with the other one. <gasps> oh my God, I'm losing it. <laughs> All right, guys, it took a bit of playing. Uh, I won a Lucky Frog, a Robo Cabinet, both of those appropriate enough, and a Mini Daruma, a couple other things from him, but he's finally offered to play another game to see if he'll move in. So let's see. Oh, no, he's going to take my Elegant Mushroom if I <laughs> if I lose. All right, bring it on, little buddy. Let's play Shrades. Oh, this is usually pretty easy. I'm going to make some gestures and give you clues. I'll try to guess what I'm ending at. <laughs> I can't not do this voice. Sorry, whoever, if anyone hates it. <laughs> Watch carefully so you can guess what I'm trying to describe. Are you ready? You have fun, even though you... and... Cry and sweat and... Laugh? What is it? One more time. You have fun, even though you cry and... Worry and laugh. <laughs> what is it? 
A movie. A thumbtack. I think it would be a movie. You got it! Congratulations, that's exactly what it is. I made a promise, so I guess I'm moving to this town. Ahem, <laughs> just in case you forgot, I'm Ribot. <laughs> and your name is Adam, huh? Cool, let's be good friends. Alright, I'll go back home and start packing. I'll be back in no time. Alright, da, da 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 this calls for a little bit of dance. He's gonna clap for me, a little bit of... Bam! <laughs> Synchronized. Haha. Oh, and we got... Ribot in Gustin. Alright. I will assimilate with you, Ribot. Okay, so, <laughs> so this is a productive day so far. I was thinking about trying to, like, figure out what villager I wanted next and, like, do all that, but I might just leave it up to chance. I got pretty lucky with him. Uh, I, I'm, speaking of Lucky, I'm a little, I regret a little bit that I didn't invite Lucky, the bandaged dog villager, <laughs> to my town when I had a chance, but it's alright. I think Ribot is pretty cool and unique. I think he's one of the few non-actual animal villagers in the game, and since he is a robot frog, he's kind of a, uh, an actual animal, I guess. I don't know. Alright, so, <laughs> maybe he got in some weird accident and they had to, like, rebuild him, like, the... Six million dollar man or whatever. I forget how many millions he was made for. But he could be some type of uh, android robot robot. Oh, so, oh man, I just <laughs> I just got this song from uh, listening to KK Slider actually perform it. But this is a really good song. I'll just buy it again. I can put one on my wall so that anyone who visits Gustin can buy it if they want. Oh, wait. You have to street pass with me to do that. Sorry. I forgot... Maybe we'll street... Oh, there's finally a fortune cookie. Sweet. So yeah, I already have a lucky frog, but I didn't have a robot closet. So I think I'm... J even just without robot moving in, I'm pretty glad that I played some of his robot games. But yeah, it took a little bit. I had to sit there and, uh, and play a bunch of his games. And he kept turning me down. He was like, nah, I don't want to leave my other old town. But value the friends you have for one day you may need them. I feel like that's a Pikmin one. But let's see. I can't remember. So yeah, I'm glad Robot's moving to town. Oh, I don't want to sell anything. I do need to sell, but I'll go to retail to do that. So, who do you guys think I should have move out? Because I do want... Uh, I want to... If I can get an Uchi villager that I like, a big sister villager like Mira was, or a normal one like Nan was, uh, that would be good. Because, you know, if I double up on villagers, they start to have similar personality. You know, they'll say some similar things. It is Pikmin, yeah. Um, and I want to get a nice variety of people to talk to, you know. So I'm thinking... So the ones that I don't think I'd ever want to leave are maybe Genji, Graham, Tangy. I like... Of the two cranky villagers, I think I like Elvis more than Avery, even though Avery's pretty cool. How's it going, buddy? Um, I'll leave this... Oh, please weed. What? He has a weeding service? What? You need someone to weed? Oh, on my daily walk, I didn't see a single weed anywhere at all. Don't worry so much, Adam. Today, Goosen is beautiful as ever. Sweet. Yeah, I gotta keep track of the weeds. I think I had him, asked him about that before, but I guess he can, he offers like a weeding service in case uh, the weeds start piling up. So yeah, um, let me new, cause yeah, between those two, I like Tangy better than, than Pinky, uh, of the two preppy villagers. Of the jocks, I don't know, now Genji and Ribot. Ribot's the new hotness, but I do like uh, Genji a lot. Some orange pants. These look like some type of like Wild West. Oh, they're worker pants? Okay. I guess let's try these on real quick. Um, and then who's the other one? Oh, Lazy Villagers. So uh, as much as I like Cranston, I think Drago is so much cooler. So I guess I wouldn't be too sad if Cranston left. I'm pretty sure that's Explorer shirt. I've already got that. So yeah, I... Uh, I don't know. I think of all the villagers I have right now, even though Avery is not that old, I think he's the one that I wouldn't mind leaving the most. I don't know. For so I feel like Elvis has more personality for whatever reason. I'm not as big of a fan of Avery. There's a sweet baseball cat back there. and I Oh, I gotta get these. <laughs> I don't think I have a pair of these. And if I did buy them, I might have given them to Danielle. Let's try them on real quick. Beautiful. <laughs> Alright. So yeah... Who do you, yeah, let me know, guys, because I want it, I want your input, uh, even though I might not, you know, I'm not going to see it for a little while. It, if the villagers are still around, you know, in the future, and one of them has to leave, I know, I'll know who to, you know, let go. Because, yeah, I, I think, I definitely want to try, there's a couple Uchi villagers that are pretty cool, like Renee, the Rhino, and stuff like that. 
I just didn't really like Mira, and Nan was a little boring. I don't know. Do you, if you have any recommendations for Big Sister or normal villagers that you think are good, let me know, because I will try to uh, look them up and take them into consideration when uh, you know we see who's camping. So yeah, um, I think that might be it for today. Cause yeah, the camper that was. <laughs> I'm a little tuckered out from talking to Ribot so much, but uh, yeah, let me know what you want to see. If you want to see more uh, Happy Home uh, Spot Pass houses, because they do have a ton of them, and they're pretty cool to look at. If you want to see me go to another village, let me t tell me what that is. You know, I'd like to hear what you guys want to see. So uh, I, I guess we could finish out by going to the cafe real quick and uh, and do that. I think this episode's probably running a little long because I spent a lot of time talking to Ribot, but I think it was worth it, worth it to get Ribot in the town living in Gustin, so he should be moving in within the next few days. Exciting. Hopefully he doesn't ruin the perfect town rating. I'll have to be careful of where he moves in. Alright. Oh, speaking of Cranston. Hey, buddy. I would never want you to move out. He likes blends. Cranston, I feel like Cranston really is, like, the one of the the soul of Gustin. Like, I don't know. He represents all that Gustin is about. Being lazy. Wait, did he say I can't work right now? What do you say? Oh, my pocket's full of things. Okay. I guess I'll have to come back later. I don't have room. Let's just eat this mushroom. Or I could just get the net. I'll just eat this mushroom. <laughs> don't go to work while you're on mushrooms. Alright, there we go. So yeah, I have to make sure I have room so that he can... Uh... Oh, I got rid of it. What do you mean? There's more... Okay. I guess he's like, you could... I don't know. All right, well, I'll I'll put a clip in here if I get anything good when I do my coffee. But anyways, he's doing a stickler, Brewster. So yeah, let me know what villagers you like, what villagers you hate, and all that good stuff. And I'll see you next time, guys, for more Animal Crossing New Leaf. Goodbye.